A very good evening. It's a Monday evening just after 8.30. It's time to get you informed. This is Soweto Today. I'm your host, Rafilo Wakamuze. Thank you so much for making time to tune in tonight. We look at some of the uh, educational centers that really provide an opportunity for a UCR or Nahorabaye school. Not only youth, but only the elders as well. I'm talking about uh, Ekasi Educational Initiative. All right? It's situated at Tubelitle Junior Secondary School in White City, Jababu. This is sort of like a, a Saturday, Sunday school where learners can go and get a assistance uh, who, to be able to further their studies. So we're going to be talking to uh, a founder of the school, Justin Mabunga, and also joined by a student who really was uh, one of the top students we had in the academic year 2016, uh, Andy Lendaba, uh, who is was actually a learner at the school. Let's take time to welcome them onto the show and, and chat more about this. Um, Andy Le and um, uh, Justin, very good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening. Okay. Ninjan. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Uh, great work, yeah. Justin. I mean, um, Ekasi Educational Initiative, you are the founder of this initiative. What motivated you to even uh, you know, start an educational initiative like this one? Well, looking back, um, I initiated the program 2010, and uh, the trend of failure rate in Soweto is mm. too much, and especially because the kids, they come from the disadvantaged backgrounds, from the township schools, and then I then thought, you know what, this has to, be to change. Mm. Then I then thought of starting an initiative like this. What is the school about? What exactly happens? How do you run the school? Right. The school is just about uh, teaching. We cater grade 10, 11, and 12. We teach okay. math, science, accounting, geo, life sciences, business studies, and economics nice. every Saturday, Sunday, and during school holidays. And also, towards the end of the year, um, uh, we also cater the cross nighting sessions mm. for the grade 12s. All right. Yeah. So, so, my student, it's anybody who's anyone, as long as they're in grade 10, 11, and 12, who can attend. How do you get your, your, your learners? Well, our learners, we recruit from um, Soweto and okay. uh, outside Soweto as well. We call upon disadvantaged uh, you know, learners from disadvantaged schools, mm. and then we then, uh, you know, cater them uh, to the project. Are these learners who are particularly not doing well, or it's just anyone who wants to attend? Anyone who wants to attend, especially those who are not true, who are really struggling mm. with their education, like uh, tr struggling to improve their marks. You know, sometimes you get learners who are getting uh, twenty percent, five percent. Mm. We want those because we know yeah. we'll take this learner from zero to a hero. Lovely, zero to hero. I mean, our hero is here <laughs> this evening. How are you? Just I'm good. In your Congratulations. Thank How you many so distinctions much. did you get? I got five distinctions. Five distinctions. So you attended the, the center? Yeah, but I did um, attend. How was it? Take me through. You attended the, throughout the year. How was it? I actually enrolled uh, last year when I was in matric. I had another Saturday classes yep. where I used to attend it. And then a friend of mine actually invited me, and I went there just to check. Mm. And when I got there, strangely, one, uh, one, one period took three hours and I was so exhausted and really? I was like, I'm not going back there. Yeah. But funny enough, my mom was like, you're going back. Yeah. We are and they actually cared because before you enroll, they want to see your marks so that they know from where to where. So you were not doing well? Not really. You were just average. Yes, I was average, yeah. especially in physics. I hated physics with my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. So nice. I did go there and I did manage to get a distinction for science. So you attended every single weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. You, I had to sacrifice church, I had to sacrifice choir. Sure. I was a chorus that formed and youth choir. I had mm. to leave the choir and yeah. Focus. So which subjects did you uh, obtain distinctions on? It's math, yeah. uh, physics, life science, geography and LO. Wow, congratulations. How does this make you feel, Justin? Um, I mean, this is your product. I'm very proud of you know, uh, because looking back, uh, she came there and she was struggling, especially with science. Yeah. And uh, I had to take her from you know where she was step by step, and you know she was she was kind of like a slow learner mm. in a way when it comes to science, mm. but with with maths she was okay. Yeah. So I had to take her from that point and then going forth, and then right now I'm very proud because she's even Amazing. admitted at the University of jo uh, uh, Johannesburg. Really, you, you went know. to UJ. What are you going to be studying? Actually, I'll be going into VIRTS. Oh, VIRTS. Uh, what yes. are you going to be studying? Then, uh, Bachelor of Dental Science. Nice. All right. Let's talk about your education, your educators or your tutors. Yeah. Are they accredited? Well, our educators, they are highly uh, qualified teachers, yeah. and some they are tutors, and uh, they are CES accredited, and, uh, NCS, and yeah. CAPS trained. 
Nice. All right. So we're talking about quality, quality teachers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. We produce quality education. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. This is really, really amazing. Uh, but I've got someone who just failed their matric. They didn't do well. Do you accept learners like that as well? Sure. Sure. Those are the learners we want. Yeah. Because we want, we need to improve their results. We need to see them somewhere in life. Mm. Yeah. So what was your pass rate last year? Ninety-two percent. Well, uh, 2015, if I can just go back just a All little right. bit, 2015, we got a 97.3%. Nice. And then last year, we got a 92%. Even though it was, there was a drop with the result, but our result, there was still quality. Lovely. Yeah. Sure. Let's give a message quickly to someone who's watching the show at home right now, and they want to, to be part of the school. They're probably doing grade 10, grade 11, or grade 12 this year, 2017, and they want to do, join the, the initiative. How do I get hold of you? Do you have a website I can go to for more information? Well, for more inf information, we have a Facebook page, which, which is EGASI Educational Initiative, and we also have... Um, uh, a website, uh, it's uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, then you can get our information there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my cell phone number is 076 966 438. I tell you, you are going to be getting a lot of calls. A lot of people still want to go back to school <laughs> this year. My darling, congratulations and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. So uh, much. You, you said you're going to be studying? Bachelor of Dental Science, Dentistry. Wow, dental Science. So you're going to be a dentist. Oh my. <laughs> Wow, congratulations once again. All right, Thank we're going to have to leave it there for uh, this segment of the show. When we come back, more great news. We're talking massive open online varsity, making revolutionary moves in, in the tertiary sector, I tell you. They are known as move centers. They're like mini libraries. We'll tell you more about that and more when we come back. We'll be talking to Tembisi Lemtetwa, who is a library facilitator at the move center. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.